Bank debt terminology and characteristics of bank debt. What is bank debt? Bank loan debt securities, typically refer to a type of financial instrument known as, bank loan participation notes, or, loan participation certificates. These are debt securities issued by financial institutions, such as banks or financial intermediaries, that represent an ownership interest in a pool of loans or a portfolio of bank loans. They are used to raise capital and allow investors to indirectly participate in the income generated by a group of loans. Debts issued or sold by banks and other financial institutions to companies undergoing financial stress usually below investment grade. How bank loan debt securities work. Pooling of loans. A financial institution, often a bank, originates a portfolio of loans, such as commercial loans or consumer loans. Issuance of securities. The financial institution creates securities, bank loan debt securities, that are backed by the cash flows generated by the loan portfolio. These securities represent ownership interests in the loans. Investor purchase. Investors, which can include individuals, institutional investors, or other financial entities, purchase these bank loan debt securities. Each security represents a portion of the total loan portfolio. Cash flows. As the loans in the portfolio generate interest and principal payments, these cash flows are passed through to the investors in proportion to their ownership of the securities. Investors receive periodic interest payments, typically on a quarterly or semi-annual basis, as well as their share of the principal repayments. Risk and returns. The risk and return associated with bank loan debt securities depend on the performance of the underlying loans. Types of loan. Term loan. Fully funded loan with a balloon payment at maturity. A term loan is a type of loan that is borrowed for a fixed period, typically with a predetermined repayment schedule. It is usually used for specific purposes, such as financing the purchase of assets or funding a long-term project. Term A amortizing, seniority, matures within six years. Term B maturity greater than six years, subordinate to A loans. Can have multiple contracts each with different start and maturity dates, interest rate, payment schedule, reset schedule, and currency denomination. Example. A company may take out a $1 million, 5-year term loan to purchase new manufacturing equipment. The loan agreement specifies monthly payments over the 5-year term. Revolver loan. A line of credit where the customer uses the funds when they are needed. Amount can be drawn, repaid and drawn again. Commitment fee paid on unfunded portion of revolver loan, short for revolving credit facility, is a flexible loan arrangement that provides a borrower with access to a predetermined amount of credit. Borrowers can draw and repay funds as needed, and interest is typically paid only on the outstanding balance. Example. A business obtains a $500,000 revolving credit line from a bank. The company can draw funds up to this limit for various purposes, such as covering short-term cash flow gaps. Interest is charged only on the amount borrowed, and as the company repays, the credit becomes available for future use. Delayed draw term loan. Fully or partially unfunded at issuance. Mondi can be drawn fro a certain time frame or amount once repaid it cannot be drawn again a delayed draw term loan is a type of term loan where the borrower has the option to draw the loan amount in multiple installments over a specified period, rather than receiving the entire loan up front. Example. A real estate developer secures a $10 million delayed draw term loan to fund a construction project. They have the flexibility to draw the funds in $2 million increments over the next two years as construction progresses. Interest accrues only on the drawn amount. Pick. Payment in kind. Loan. A loan which typically does not provide for any cash flows from borrower to lender between the drawdown date and the maturity or refinancing date not even interest. Pick loan pays some or all of the interest in payments in kind or increase in face of loan. The interest is paid in kind by adding it to the outstanding loan balance. Example. An investor borrows $1 million with a 10% pick loan. Instead of making cash interest payments, they choose to have the interest capitalized. After one year, the loan balance becomes $1.1 million, $1 million principal plus $100,000 in interest capitalized. Income streams and fees. Delayed compensation. Buyer receives delayed compensation or accrued interest from seller. Cost of carry. Seller receives cost of carry to compensate them for not receiving the proceeds. Commitment fee. A charge by the lender for holding credit available for a borrower also known as unfunded fee. Prepayment fee, 
charged for paying loan down before maturity date. Amendment fee, for changing the credit agreement provision. Assignment fee, for recording the sale purchase faux loan via an assignment paid at time of purchase. Facility fee, payable to the banks for providing the facility credit. What is a tranche? Each time borrower borrows some of the facility, a contract is created this is often called as tranche. As with any contract it will specify the terms and conditions of the loan made including interest payment schedules start date maturity date etc. Any time the borrower pays back some of the loan or makes an interest payment the terms of the contract changes. Credit activity transaction global commitment. Total amount to the loan, maximum amount a borrower can draw. Drawdown, borrows against the loan. For term loan the transaction will borrows the full loan amount. For revolver amount the transaction will increase the funded amount and decreases the unfunded amount. Amortization payment, paydown. Term loan. Process of gradually reducing a debt through installment payment of principal, versus paying of debt all at once reduces global commitment of loan. Revolvers. The borrower can pay back a portion of a contract funded amount at any time before the contract matures. Prepayment. The borrower can pay back a portion of a revolver contract funded amount before the contract matures. This referred to as a prepayment or sometimes a partial repayment or early paydown the paid down amount returns to the unfunded portion of the revolver. Commitment reduction, reduces the global facility amount. For a term loan a commitment reduction must occur in conjunction with a contract maturing or prepayment of the contract. For a revolver a commitment reduction reduces the unfunded portion of the revolver. Commitment increase, for revolver the transaction increases the unfunded portion of the facility. Rollover rate reset, rolls a maturing contract into one or more new contracts the borrower pays the interest and any fees due on the maturing contract. Thanks for watching.